Hi everyone, it's the English Simmer here and welcome back to another Creator Sim. This is actually a collab between myself and six other Simmers. All of their links will be down below to both their channels and also their Creator Sim or builds that they did for this collab. But this is the bookish collab. So I was approached by Ray Atlas and was asked if I wanted to join in this collab to celebrate reading books and being a bookworm. I myself have always been a bookworm. I absolutely love reading. I unfortunately don't get to do it as often as I would like to anymore. Um, however, I am recently trying to get back into it and trying to like diversify what I read. I just bought myself a Kindle as well, which has become my latest obsession. So I decided to recreate a book character that I was pretty much obsessed with these books when I was younger. I think I started reading them in about year six. So when I was about 10, 11, our teacher read the first couple of books in this series and it was all about vampires and like this massive vampiric war that was happening. And those books were the saga of Darren Shan. It was a 12 book series. So I decided to create Mr. Larton Krepsley out of the saga of Darren Shan. He is a vampire. So obviously it was real handy. The fact that we have vampires in The Sims 4. I kind of like looked at like fan art and also like images of him that I had seen online and like on book covers and stuff like that. I actually haven't read the book series that fully focuses on him. That was released way more recently and I actually have never got around to reading it. I think I have the first book in the series so that's on my to be read list. However, that list just keeps getting longer and longer. So basically, Larton Krepsley is the I don't want to give too much away in case you guys like watch this video and then want to like read these books. Um, but he is basically one of the main vampires in the series. I love him as a character. He was kind of like this fatherly figure in the books. He definitely looks a lot younger as my creation um, than I think he's like meant to be in the book. Obviously he's like 200 years old because he's a vampire. So he's lived for ages. I think he's meant to be about like 180 or something like that but he's a vampire so he doesn't really like age that much so I think he's meant to look like late 30s to 40s but my sims never look that old because obviously I have skins and stuff they like smooth out their faces so he was never gonna look as old as that but I did make him as an adult and he will definitely be up on the gallery if any of you guys want to download him there is quite a lot of cc I think his hair is cc although it is a recreation of the cats and dogs hair so you guys probably will be able to put that on him his scar obviously isn't custom content that that came with Get Famous. So honestly, it's pretty much just his like skin. So he might look a little bit different when you place him in your game. But apart from that, I try to resist using custom content on him. And I just put him in his slick red suit because red is his favorite color not because he's a vampire and it's the color of blood. I think it's just because he likes red. It's been a while since I read this book series, but let me know in the comments down below what your favorite book series is, what I should be reading at the minute. I actually have Carry On on my to be read list. That's the next book I need to read. I'm currently reading Crazy Rich Asians and next up is Carry On, which I know has such a dedicated fan base. So I definitely need to get around to reading that. But let me know what you are reading at the minute, what you think I should read, what you think I would enjoy. And definitely check out the other Simmers in this collab. I know some people 
people are doing some builds from their favorite book series. I know some people are doing like creator sims. So definitely go check out their channels. A big thank you to Ray for inviting me to be part of this collab. I haven't done a collab in so long. So it was really nice to be asked. So thank you guys so, so much for letting me join this. Give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed and I will speak to you all in my next video. Bye guys.